All right, so we're gonna do a technique right now where we're gonna start on reverse the lahiva, okay? And a lot of times your opponent controls your heel, right? Your pants, your heel, or your ankle right here, okay? So he's gonna control you here. So it's very, very important to control this leg right here, especially if you're fighting someone that loves to go like to leg entanglements or they love to go for scrambles, burn bolos, and things like that. So I like to control this leg. You can control with the C grip, okay? If you feel comfortable with the C grip, I'll give you like some uh, grips right here. C grip, you can control the pant grip right here, and I can control outside of the knee as well, okay? So I like to control here. Inside the knee is a little bit hard to grab, okay? And usually they have the knee shield right here. You can control like this, or you can also hold right on the, their toes, like this, okay, on the toes. So when you grab the toes, you need to squeeze the leg against uh, their butt, squeeze their heel against the butt right here, okay? So he's gonna try to go for scrambles, I can keep holding this leg right here. And if I, if I want, I can at any time, like put this leg right here, and then I start going for a toe hold, okay? But it's very important to keep controlling the bottom leg, okay? If you don't control the leg that you're not attacking, okay, let's say I'm controlling the top leg, I'm attacking the top leg, but if I let his bottom leg free, he's gonna scramble and take my back, or he's gonna go for X guard. For example, if I go for a, for a toe hold right here, I fall like this, and then I end up not controlling the bottom leg, then I start, start rolling, the, he's gonna roll, and then he's gonna start like attacking your back. Okay, so it's very dangerous, okay? So if you wanna go for a toe hold right here, in this case, grab my heel like this. Usually they control your collar like this as well. So you can go here, and then when you fall, make sure you control you control the thigh, okay? And then you go for the for the heel for the uh, toe hold, okay? But I I do that more like when let's say I'm down by a lot. He already swept me past mount me so I'm on top right there tired end of the round like I'm like okay so I gotta do something right many can go for the toe hold of course for brown and black belts in tournaments okay so another thing that I like to do I like to control his uh his uh heel right here like with the C grip I like the C grip a lot because it I don't uh I don't need to worry about holding his pants like sometimes his pants gonna be like this so you can't grab or the pants is really tight so you control like this okay so now what I do when he controls my collar here I grab his collar okay and I know he's gonna try to go for the scramble try to go for the scramble I must keep this leg and my elbow against me here okay so I keep his leg down right okay? so uh, when he goes for the scramble for the scramble I need to have my hand against his neck right here, against his head, all right? So now what I do, okay, I'm gonna staple his uh, bicep just like I did uh, when I attack his ankle, okay? So I go like this, okay? So when I go here, like now I block him and I'm, I'm not allowing him to go for the scrambles anymore. There's a lot of things I can do here, okay? I can use my hand still on the collar, or if you start dragging me or pulling me, I can post my hand on the floor. Okay, like this. But it's very important to make sure that you keep his arm trapped. You see that I'm, I'm with my foot under his, his arm here. Okay, like this. Okay, I'm trapping his arm. Now, because I'm doing that, I can easily extend his leg and break his grip. Okay? And now he's going to try to lock the half guard. He's going to lock the half guard. Lock the half guard. Okay. Once you start doing that, I can easily change my grip to the knee, and then I start taking my kneecap out. Sometimes my foot is gonna escape like this. Okay, I'm gonna step over and I escape my foot. Sometimes my foot gets stuck here. Okay, in both ways, I need to do this. Stepping the leg or not, I'm controlling his leg right here. He's gonna try to go upside down. I keep controlling it. Now I'm gonna start hugging his body, putting my elbow on the floor, and now I'm gonna start working to take my leg out. Okay, then I'll pass his guard. Okay, once I pass his guard, now I go to the north-south, and then I use my rib against his face. 
okay? Mm -hmm. So I like to use this a lot when I'm passing guard here, okay? So when I get here, he's gonna control there, I control his, his ankle, he's gonna try to go for the scrambles, I hold his leg. If you don't hold his leg, go for the scramble, he's gonna start going for the scramble here, okay? Push his leg down and now I stick. Post my hand on the floor, kick, and then if I pass the guard, now I'm gonna do the same thing. Elbow on the floor, controlling the belt, putting pressure up my hip against his face, you see that? So it doesn't turtle like towards me. Try to turtle towards me here, but he can't because I'm controlling his face, you see? So if I go like this, he's gonna start turning, and then he goes for a single leg on me. Okay. So that's the first technique. Step one, he controls. Step two, close, take my leg out. Now I hug him right here, okay, bringing my hand against his back, okay, I can hold him up here or not, I just put my hand underneath of his body, look, but look my hip against his face right here, okay, I'm going to start putting the weight against his face, now I'm ready to attack a nice paper cut choke, I'm going to take advantage of the position, passing my hand under, okay, right here, Grabbing four fingers to the side, and then I control his uh, collar with my thumb inside with my left hand. Okay, and one thing that's very common people frame here, they're gonna frame like this, okay? And a lot of times when you try to choke, they're gonna put their arm under your arm, and you can't go for the choke, okay? When that happens, I like to put my head around his elbow and my my forehead goes on his bicep here. Okay, and then I start putting my forehead on the floor. Just watching to not let him like turn me that way, okay? If you try to turn that way, turn that way, I just put my belly button on the floor. Try to put your hand again, again uh, under my arm. I just keep my head here. Once I do that, now I can easily do the staple on his neck, okay? So I go here, all right? I see sometimes people, they try to go for the choke like this, okay? So when I go here, fight with, uh, hand fight with me. So he's gonna hand fight. You can't go there. So you gotta go around, control near his ear, right here. Okay, right on his neck. And now he's gonna try to defend. He's gonna put the hand right there. So look, I put my head right on the floor right here. Try to defend. So he can't. Now I'm gonna hop over my elbow over his face like this. Once I do that, elbow goes to the floor and then I open until he taps, okay? Again, control, one, two, take the leg out, and then get the north-south, control the collar, make sure his arm is on your left here, okay? Like this, now you can start, you know this hand is gonna bother you, okay? Fight with the, my hand right here, I can go and grab his bicep like this, and put my head here, you see? Now he can't fight with his hand. Now I go easily and control with my thumb in near his, uh, his uh, ear, right below his ear, okay? And now when I go with the belly down, I'm gonna pass my arm over like this, okay? And now elbow on the floor, and then I open my elbow, sliding my elbow, my elbow on the floor into his hands, okay? Any question? Easy, right? So. Yeah, here, try to scramble. I just, very important to keep putting his, his uh, foot towards the mat because you block the knee shoe to try to do the knee shoe. Anytime you can start applying the knee cut here too as well, if you need, okay? And if you have the knee shoe here, it's easy for him to lift his hip, even though he doesn't pass the, the leg to the other side and start going underneath of you, okay? So when you're here, just, Make sure you isolate the, the shin. Put your shin against me so he can, so now you go here, okay? And then make sure your hip is against his face. Now you grab the collar, C-grip, pass your head here. Now you have no chance to defend the choke. This is a very old choke, old, very effective. It's one of uh, the best ways to finish from side control because you keep your belly down, you don't need to move too much, okay? Every time you're on side control, 
you're gonna go to the north south, and your arm goes always under his arm here. You trap the arm, and make sure right now you go 90 degrees from him, so you can trap this arm here. Okay, it will isolate his arm. He can't frame on you. Now when you're here, you're gonna go for the C grip. Try to block. You see how I put his elbow against his body here? And then my head goes on the floor. Okay? I'm isolating both arms. Now I can go thumb in and then go for the choke. Okay? You guys have any question? Yes. Yeah, so I'm pushing his, his heel against his butt, but at the same time, I'm doing this. I'm trying to put the plant of his foot on the floor. So imagine like you're grabbing the C-grip here and then you're doing this, trying to bring your, your knee back. So you see like you keep his knee far from his body. Okay? You're not just doing this, okay? Because here he still has chance to scramble even though he doesn't pass the leg around. So you go like this. If you like, you can go like this. He's gonna try to go back with the leg here, grab my heel. He's gonna grab the heel, so that's when I have the opportunity to staple his arm and step over, okay? And there's other things you can do here as well, but I like to use my rib against his face, isolate his arm, and then look, press my head here, okay? If you forget to do that, he, he start blocking your neck here, like putting the, the hand under your arm, put the hand under your, my arm, like this, you can't choke, okay? So if you feel like, oh, I feel like I'm gonna kiss the guy if I go with the head in, right? Like, it's, sometimes you're gonna touch the lips. I'm just saying. <laughs> Especially me, like I have big lips. So, uh, no, ju just like if you feel like, oh, I don't wanna be with my mouth closed to his mouth. So just grab the C grip here. Just let go the, 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 uh, the collar and do this. Okay, but very fast. Don't go gently because he can like block you and, and use strength. So you need to snap his arm like this. And then put your head there. Okay, now you control. Come in and you stay like a seal here. Belly down and just open your elbow. Okay. All right, let's work. One, two, three. One thing really important when you're doing this technique, uh, you gotta trap his arm, okay? So you don't wanna put the shin over his shoulder, right? Or just the knee over his shoulder, because I, I have all this space, you see? So it's easy for him to move the arm, and I'm not using my frame. So I'm gonna use my, my uh, shin, okay? As a frame here. So I need to shovel my foot under his arm here, see? So now try to move that arm, Daniel. So it's hard for me to move that arm. So if I keep his face like this, he's, he can push me with this hand and then take the other hand out and push me as well. Okay, so I prefer to isolate the arm and then he has only this arm to push me, okay? And there's a couple things that your opponent will try to do when you do it with this hand right here because you already blocked this one. So when you're here, he's controlling you. You, you grab and make your grip. So there's a lot of things you can do a lot of transitions you can do from this grip. And then you're gonna step your hand over or you can keep the hand here. But at the end of the day, when you start moving, you need to have your hand on the floor. I like to pose the hand, but I need to go with the top of my foot under his arm. So I go like this. See? And now here, it really depends what he's gonna do. So see, Daniel has a couple reactions here. He's putting his hand here. If I try to hug him, he's gonna use the frame to push me, okay? So when this happens, what I like to do, I like to hop over with my arm on his elbow, okay? So I'm here, I go like this to block him. And then I start taking the leg out, okay? So now, instead of going to the choke, I can start attacking his back. I force him to turn, I can start attacking his back. Oh, underhooking his arm, okay, if you want. Or if you're passing here, he underhooked my arm like this, okay? Then you have the option to do what you just did. Or you can start attacking Kimura. You can go for Kimura here too as well, okay? 
But if his arm is under your armpit like this, I suggest you to, to do it. Okay? Don't try to go here. Because then he's gonna start using uh, his arm, the frame, to push you. And the way you, you react when you start, start começa a me empurrar, Daniel. He's gonna start pushing you. You need to relax on top of his arm, keep your hips relaxed. Don't like stiff your body. Make sure like you have freedom to, to breathe. You don't, you don't need to like oh, do this. Because then you become like a rock and then it's easy for him to move you. So you need to be like a, a water, uh, you know like when you put water in the balloon, right? You just like, you know, like smooth and, and relax. It's hard for him to move, okay? So try to move Daniel. And then this hand here, you're gonna move, but you're not gonna do like this. Okay? You, you just need to, your hand in contact with the, with the floor the whole time. Start escaping the hips, start moving the hips. I just keep like this. If I feel this is my base, okay, great. You start pushing me, push me, look, push me that way. Start pushing me like this way, I grip my hand like this. Imagine like I'm blind and I need to feel the floor, okay? Don't just like do this, okay? So you're just here and then you can start like blocking, okay? And then if you have the grip on your pants, it's gonna be hard for you to take the leg out. Okay? So if you grab my pants here and I go to the position, like I feel like my foot is gonna get stuck. Right? But I still can grab him like this or over his arm if he's uh, going under my armpit. And I just stay here, grab his belt and just be aware on taking your kneecap out. Okay? You're never gonna give him the, the, the thigh. You always offer your opponent just a shin. Because your shin is your frame, so let him down, like control only your, your shin, not your entire leg when he controls the thigh, okay? So now he's gonna start moving, right? He's gonna start like trying to skate. And little by little, I start giving me little pops. Okay, turn around. I go with my leg here look, over his, his uh, knee, and I start pushing. If he trap his leg then, Right? It's okay because I can start jumping to his back. If my, my leg gets trapped there. Okay, if I change the leg, okay? But usually when you get the, when, when you do it, like you can get the long step, okay? So now, also, one thing that we need to think when you do this, I'm not gonna post my hand here, okay? Because here, look, I don't have options to go to his back. I don't have options to, to do anything here, okay? The only option I have maybe is grabbing his head, but it's hard for me to grab his head here. So you need to go with the hand on this side here. Because now even if you turn a little bit towards me, I can start attacking his neck. I can start grabbing his neck. I can go for Kimura or simply control his uh, belt and start passing, controlling, and get ready to choke. If his arm gets trapped here, try to take your arm out. Go, go. Just squeeze, isolate his arm. Don't relax here. Now you, you need contact. Okay, go. So now I can easily go for the choke. Okay? All right, let's repeat three more minutes, then we're gonna roll. Okay, one, two, three.